Wrestling Mayhem Show fans and friends across the land. It's Mad Mike once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Okay, TNA. <laughs> I know I start with this every week, but fuck, you guys are maddening. Um, last week's show was actually better. The only problem was it seemed like a go-home show for Bound for Glory. And in case I've miscounted, there is another week of impact. Um, I don't care about King Mo, who wears Madison Rain's tiara to the ring, which is nice of her to let him borrow it. Um, I don't care about the world title match. <sighs> the aces and eights, like, th this is TNA's biggest pay per view of the year, and. They really, like, the only match I'm actually looking forward to is the Triple Threat Tag Match, just because that has a lot of fun people in it. It's very odd. Uh, the only way... I said this in my review of the show last week, and I said this in the Hangout on Thursday. I think at this point, the only way TNA can really redeem me is if they do some form of... Bully Ray and Sting beat the Aces and Eights. And Sting and Hogan are so impressed with Bully that they throw him into the title match. And then with the help of Aces and Eights, Bully wins the TNA Championship. And Bully's revealed to be the leader. Along with Joseph Parks, Abyss, you know, whatever. I think that would... That would be fresh. Because... Right now, TNA is not taking advantage of the best character they have in Bully Ray. Bully Ray is, uh, I mean, with all apologies to Austin Aries, the angle he's in with Jeff Hardy sucks. There's no story. They're trying to do a CM Punk thing, but they really can't because Aries hasn't been in TNA established long enough to be CM Punk. It's just, like, Jeff Hardy is... An equivalent of John Cena. I understand that. I get that. That's fine. But Austin Aries is no CM Punk. Everyone loves Austin Aries. It's not like he's been held down. He's been main eventing pay per view after pay per view. It, it's not. It's not the same thing. And they're stupid for trying to make it the same thing. What they should have done is maybe have as as much as they don't want to bring up Jeff's past and say Aries. Like, have Aries say that Jeff doesn't deserve to be here. He doesn't deserve to be on the main stage. And, you know, have a kind of realistic angle that way. But, um... Yeah. So, apart from that, I don't really know how TNA can bring me back into the fold. But Raw this week was a lot of fun. I, I mean, I joked on the message board that Raw is desperate because last week they got a really low rating. But Vince McMahon, it, it's just always fun to see him in that role, in that Mr. McMahon role of, you're fired, and, and all that shit. It's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's been missed. It's not because I miss the Attitude Era, trust me. I don't really miss the Attitude Era that much. A lot of it, a lot of it was really bad and people tend to forget that. But, speaking of Vince McMahon, and the awesome match he had with CM Punk last night, I mean, let's, let's be fair, for a TV match, Vince can still go like a... He, he slid across the fucking announce desk. He slid across it. But, um, so, a Vince McMahon fact for this week from our folks at WrestlingData.com. Do you know Vince McMahon has had 63 matches in his career and he's only been wrestling technically since 1998? And I don't think this is accurate either because they don't they haven't added last night's show. But uh, so 64 matches. And well, Vince uh, he's he's won about half of his matches. He's won 30 matches. Not too bad if you really think about it. Especially considering Vince is generally used to just put people over. And my god, did he put over Punk last night. It was like... 
when they had their kendo stick duel, that was fucking amazing. It was abs- I don't care what anyone else says, you know, oh, Vince Perry Punk, blah, blah, blah. it was awesome for, for CM Punk to take, it, it was like Punk and, it was like Austin and McMahon, but McMahon was the face and Punk was the heel. I mean, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic because it was completely adversarial to how Austin and McMahon showed up. Because Vince, like, when Austin and McMahon feuded, Vince, like, Austin didn't want to conform to the corporate standard, and Punk doesn't want to conform to the corporate standard, but in completely different ways, which makes it work so much. Um,. One other thing, Rhodes Scholars, I love you guys. I hope you have a little inbox every week talking about your matches. Uh, you guys were awesome. And the Wade barrett Sheamus match was really, really good. It's a shame it got broken up, but Wade Barrett... God, that man better win money in the bank next year if he doesn't get injured. All right, well, this is Man Mike for the minute this week. Sorry, it's a little long sword, but I will be at New York Comic Con this week, and I'm going to try and get as much footage as I possibly can. So uh, until then, peace bitches.